How to create a project plan with Excel. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a quick overview of how you can get started with creating your own project plan using Microsoft Excel. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to open up a blank workbook over here and this is our simple excel workbook and we're going to begin creating our project plan so there are some basic things that you want to add the first section that i like to begin building whenever i am looking to build a project plan is the key information so for any kind of project there is some key information such as the title so i like to just add the project title so the project title over here and i'm just going to expand these sections a little so project title and then below that i have the project manager and then i like to add the start date and the end date now what i like to do is i like to make sure all of these are structured because i want it to be you know nice and organized so uh, what I like to do is I just like to select the item and you can select a specific cell and you can format it so you can go into the uh, formatting of the cell and click on format as a table and you can form a simple little table and you know have a column like so but this can be a little confusing so uh, the easier version is to simply click on the text over here and click on the background give it a basic little fill and make the basic text over here so you can just take the text whatever text it is and make it bold like so so for all of your heading or key information you can just make it bold and give it a background color as well and after that you can also click on all borders to give it all borders or you can also click on over here like this and we're just going to delete the bottom section so we can have, you know, multiple different colors or just click on uh, white over here and just give it one large little blocked color. So if you just select it together like so and click on all borders like so and remove the center text like so and you have this little box. I just like to keep one box for each individual thing or item. Like so after that I'm just going to edit this little cell over here and I'm just going to move this cell down so I'm just going to click on over here insert like so now after that I'm going to enter my information so this might be so the title might be marketing and the project manager might be Alyssa and then I can enter the date so let's say it's starting on and it ends on the 28th like so now after that a simple formula that i like to use is the total duration now this entire project is finishing within a month so it's really not you know that difficult to know the total duration but for larger projects it can be a little difficult to know how long a project is going to be so it's easier to have the project duration be written for you so for that you can just type in is equal to network days and then you can select the first cell, give it a space, and then the end date. And then you can also give it a closed bracket like so. So the duration is five days. Now, uh, if you want to exclude or include working days only, so if you want to include working days only, you can do network days and then enter your holidays as well if there are any holidays that are going to come in between that specific item. So after that, once you've laid out your key information, you want to begin adding your task field or your project field. So first off, I like to add a number column over here and then you can add your task. So for the task column, I'm going to make it slightly larger like this. And then after that, I like to add my status. Then I like to add my assigned to. So I'm just expanding some of these sections over here. And so I'm just going to add the next information field. And after I have my assigned to, now depending on what kind of project you have, you can enter the start date or the end date of your tasks as well, as well as the duration. So in this way, I've entered some basic fields. And to just further uh, make all of these look or appear more uh, readable or easier to, you know, distinguish, you can just make it or give it all borders. And you can just do it with a multi-select as well. So you can select everything all together, give it one large border, give it a gray background. So let's say I want to do all of this with a dark gray background. 
I can just enter that and maybe I want the uh, rest of the items or maybe I want the duration to also be uh, a colored column so I can click on over here give it a column so like so and after that I can enter my numbers so so let's say I have five tasks then I can enter my task so I've added a bunch of little tasks and then I have my status. So for any kind of project, uh, I like to keep everything in an orderly fashion via a status. So you can add a status key on the side and you can do this on the top right over here where you have your duration. You can click on this and then you can just add a simple little status key. So I'm just going to add that, select three little columns, give it a gray color. So let's say I have these three statuses. Now what I can do is that I can click on this and this should be equal to either one of these and I can enter this formula over here. We can drag and drop it and it can enter the same information over here. So, you know, select whatever status you want from that specific key in your status key. Now you can also just click on over here, click on this column. So we're just going to enter these cells and you can click on more functions over here and you have your insert functions and you also have you know a bunch of different functions but if you want to you know do a direct formula you can go on ahead and add a simple formula but i can add a simple if value so uh, some if or some uh you know these values but i can just enter a sum if over here and you know, I can then mark everything by a status, then I have my start date, end date. So for a start date, let's say, so now you can see I have my start date and my end date and to calculate my duration, I can simply click on is equal to network days and then I can enter the start date, give it a comma, select the end date and then enter so this is a 101 day duration. And then I also have my comments and this just is, keeps everything, you know, nice and simple and organized uh, in the form of a excel sheet you can import this anywhere you might want if you're using any other kind of project management tool as well and it just keeps everything in an orderly and functional manner so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video